What the hell was that? It sounded like I hit a clown. Hello and welcome back to Subnautica, which I can't steal doing that. Which I've built after burning modules and a few other upgrades. Those guys are just being noisy interrupting me. Let's put a repulsion can, which first thing I'm gonna go is kind of more of the dumbest thing to go try and do is I'm gonna go see if it actually repels a teleseret. Not sure how that's gonna work out. I might be I might get eaten and have to reload my game, I don't know. But I also built two ion what but where the fuck are we? Two ion uh, power cells, which I've put in uh, my uh, C truck, which is also why I'm gonna save and all that kind of fun stuff a lot, cause that's a huge investment to frickin' lose. It's like, screw you game, I'm not losing that shit. All right, so over there, shoot under the miracle biome. Bunch of crap. He's just tapping on the ground, tap, 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 tap. Not sure where that one is here. It should be over here, I believe. But no, I'm curious to see if I can use the repulsion can to help protect me from Leviathans. Uh, and this is... Okay, he's right there, so... Uh, let's fly over here. Just because I kind of want to keep my sea truck safe. Okay, I'll just hit that. And let's go, uh... See what happens here. Chelsea, jealous. Er, that's not Chelsea. That's a frickin' vent. These guys are just so fucking quiet. I mean, at least a Reaper, you knew it was there. Is he having a wide patrol path? Jesus Christ! Now I'm terrified. Was there? Oh, there he is. Chelly, Chelly, Chelly. Uh, don't mind me. You are back, back, felt demon. Oh, yeah, he kind of. Oh shit. Back! Well, at least it does pause on me. <laughs> okay, now. Now run away. Run away like a little baby now that I probably permanently altered his patrol path. Flee! That's not my afterburner. Well, successful test. But no, I kind of got freaked out because like, I saw where he went in the dip deeps, went over there and there was nowhere to be signed, so it's like, oh shit, where is he? Where is he? I don't want to turn around to see him like taking a bite out of me and possibly just eating me. Good to know, I mean, now it's the question is, can we use that on the Shadow Leviathan to dissuade him? Wait, uh... It's like, just because I need to... I want to make sure my models are recharged. Because I'm going to go to the vent garden, Welcome or the, the vent gardens are, like that tree spire area or whatnot, to get stuff, because that's where like the spiral trunks are, I believe, believe. Which I need. I need them for reinforced dive suit and prawn suit depth module, because I need the first depth module for the prawn suit. 
or I can get the second, which I need more nickel ore for the second. So I don't have enough nickel ore for my sea truck. So I just need stuff. Oh, one thing I did not realize, because I'm terrible with names, is I did not realize that Marguerite here is the same Marguerite from the Degasi, from the original Subnautica. I was thinking she was like crashed from the Mercury here, but that was probably too long ago since it's been at least 30 years. But and I didn't realize it was Marguerite from the Degasi because I forgot Marguerite's name from there. Just because there were so many names from the data pad that I kind of forgot some of them, even though I recall a name and like when I recall the mercenary from the Degasi that was, you know, kind of badass killing, killed a reaper, wrestled stalker, shit like that. I just didn't realize it was her because, you know, this is a, quite a ways away from the crater. And, uh, yeah. So it's like, uh, how'd she get here? Well, I mean, I know how she got here because I, uh, looked at the wiki and I guess, uh, after she was drug off by the Leviathan from when the Reaper attacked the sea base, she, uh, managed to kill it, float to service, and ended up riding it over its carcass over here, because it did pretty much, I guess, by the time she killed it, actually gotten a, them a great distance out. Though it does beg a question of how she's not dead from Kara infection, just, uh... Because the Degasi, if I'm wrong, from what I, from the wiki and from just stuff, crashed like 10 years prior to the Aurora. And the Kara tends to take around two weeks to manifest and then, you know, quickly kills you after that, depending on circumstances. So it's like, how did she actually survive that before the cure? Uh, but which I don't know right off. It's kind of an interesting conundrum. I mean, I wonder if there was way, way like this. Also, someone suggests that you know she ate so many of the peepers with the enzyme that that cured her, but I don't think so. Oh God, damn it! I mean, I think that she would have like by now be cured just from the enzyme that's gotten released after uh, Riley. You know, the character from the first a game managed to release the cure. But I'm just, I'm just, I'm wondering how she survived on that, or if that's just kind of a, something the developers kind of forgot was a thing that she should have technically died from and just wanted her in this game because she was a freaking badass. That I do not know. Now, let us go off to the tree spire area. Look for a giant vent garden. Hopefully, there's not a chelicerate around there. I mean, there is one in that tree spire area. I just don't know where the fuck it is. There's a vent garden. What the hell is that sound? Oh boy, 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 how you doing? Let's dive down. Cause yeah, we kind of want to avoid. Is he just spinning in circles? You epic music. There's the big one. Been a while since I've been back here. Remember originally going here with the prawn suit that was just at its edge of its frickin' you know, diving ability. I'm looking for spiral chunks, but I don't know what the hell those even are. Okay, that dude, uh... That dude is kind of... 
wandering right towards us. That's a wall. Arm the after burner. Get the fuck out of here. Go, go. I need more afterburner. Go, go, go. Yeah, I didn't realize that dude patrolled down there. And Frigate's like, oh, there he is. Um, he seems to be getting closer. Oh, no, no, that's the original one that I saw. That's a different one. Because that's the one that I was at the edge of the prawn suit. The original prawn suit's diving wreck. No, oh, gonna stay away from those douche nozzles. Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. Back off! Go away! You know, at least I can do things about those dudes now. Just so you know, I, I got it ready, dude. You wanna go spacebound again? I wish the afterburner had more of a kick to it. What the hell is that? Sound like I hit a clown. I could go deeper in that because I remember there was a crevice down there. I just didn't have the air or ability to really pursue. But my sea truck has a depth of 900 meters now. Though I don't think I want to take this, take it with it, all its modules down there. I did got a bug at one point uh, where I disconnected from the sea truck, but still start running out of oxygen. Like I disconnected from the modules, but still had the cab. And uh, I ran out of air. I didn't know until it was too late. What are you down here? Hello? Diamond thing, so... An architect fragment. Ground sampler, so... It's a geological surveyor. Analyze the ground components, blah 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 blah. Still no clue what the fuck the spiral chunk is supposed to be. I mean, imagine it's spirally. And make sure I go up the right, you know, fissure, so I can get back to my truck and not drown. Looking around for anything that screams spiral chunky thingy majigger. Look around, look around, look around. Poor death, there's like lily pad. The, the ship's right over frickin' there. Where the fuck do spiral chunk come from? I might look that up just cause now I'm like wondering what the hell I'm even looking for at this point. Cause you'd think that it'd be something like lithium in the, in the sense that you know it's all in all kinds of different places. Okay and... Now I know what the hell I'm looking for. And where? Yes, I did go look up the wiki because I've just gotten to the point where it's like, where the flying frick am I trying to find? I'm not seeing anything on the ground or anything like that that, you know, I, I, it looks noticeable kind of thing. You know, that's just kind of creepy face. Um, okay, I don't think that side can eat me. Remember, right, you go... You go up in them. I think. Let's see if it eats me. It hasn't eaten me yet. This is the stupid thing that I was looking for.
Okay, the repulsing gun's not really gonna help here. And you don't get very many from them. Do they regrow eventually, or...? I don't know. And now, can I actually get out through this way, or do I have to figure out some other way of getting out? But now, at least that explains if it spiraled chunks, you know. Alright, well now... Got that, I'll leave you alone. You can be looking sad. Now the prawn can go to 700 meters. There we have a reinforced dive suit. Yeah. I don't know how much protection actually gives. me, give to me. What is in the... Oh, should I actually try to go to that one arctic biome? How do you get to that other arctic biome? I have no freaking clue. Alright, I figured out where I'm gonna go to take a look at just because of sheer curiosity, you know, another thing just to freak me out, you know, potentially is I don't want to get to the uh, arctic spires. Which was one thing that I apparently missed when I was originally exploring near there. <laughs> Too far thing, I need to go west now. Because I did find the bridge, but apparently you need to scan a fragment there to get the blueprint to make the hydraulic fluid to fix the bridge, which I forgot to do. You know, the uh, outdoor burn really doesn't seem like it makes you that much faster. There's apparently also a second way in, which involves this cable, but apparently it's one of those kind of things you can only open it if you're already in it kind of thing. This jaunt shouldn't take too long, because the bridge is up there, I believe. Ah. Uh, Airspear. I didn't even rename it. Airspear is such a dumbass name, I mean. Airspeedle. Hellspeeder. Mmm. Bouncy. I don't know. What is called a swoop? You know, I'll continue my trend of naming it sh things after fucking Star Wars. And I'm not sure why I even boarded it, given, you know, the frickin' bridges right here. Yeah, I think I see why you have to think, because... I'm pretty sure even if you, uh... Yeah, even if you bo boost, you're not crossing this shit. Blueprint acquired. Hydraulic fluid thing, okay, yeah. Alright, yeah, we uh, we totally took the snow fox out for a joyride. Very short joyride. And then I will be right back. And we are back over yonder. But let us go and try to fix the bridge now. Necessary repairs, we have fixed it all. Yes. The bridge is now fully functional. By the way, the reason I'm going to the Arctic Spires is mostly because I'm curious as to 
what the uh, ice leviathan actually looks like, the whole ice worm, whatever, it is, whatever its specific name is. How big it actually looks in game, stuff like that. How badly it will maul me. Um... What is doing that vibration? Is that it already? Or... That's something else. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm willing to bet that's meant to not to signal the presence of the Leviathan in the sense of you're in its biome that, and moving around, but not necessarily correlate to it. And yeah, this, holy, oh shit. This is not good. How long are you going to last? Wow. Okay. I can see now. It's kind of terrified for a moment. It's like, um, how long is this whiteout condition going to last for? Oh shit. Oh my fucking god. Holy shit. Okay, well that explains where the... Oh! Is my thing not working here? Okay, so the Leviathan is happy camper around here. But yeah, I didn't think it was gonna appear in that frickin' corridor. Site beta. Ice worms continue to slow for progress. Thumpers provide safe zones to continue work by warding off any ice worms in a small area. Device to fabricate thumpers if the ice worm presence becomes an issue. Thumper. Thumps things. Yeah, that dude's in the area. The fuck is he, though? Be nice if I could see a visual representation, like, you know, Grab Boys or some shit. How long do thumpers actually even last, though? Do I really want to go further in here? There's one behind me. And I did not think this through. Good God. Okay, so I did exit the fucking area. Holy shit. 
I only saw like the brief beak of one and it's like, holy crap, those things are terrifying. That's pretty much how I imagined it'd be like being hunted by graboids from Tremors. He can hear it, potentially, but you don't know where it is. Holy crap, man. Anyway... I think I'm gonna pause this episode here and see what it takes to build thumpers and see how they actually work before I go uh, venturing back in there. Cause Jesus. And I don't know, the snow fox might attract them even more, I don't know. I might look into that just to see what the safest technical way. I thought the snow fox would be de decent because it's like, oh, I could probably, you know, use it to outrun them. Nope. It's just like... I'm going to strike from below. Anyways, I hope you and enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like, and uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in another episode down the road. Bye for now.